Hello my people, today I bring you top 10 countries with the highest numbers of internet scammers because many of you think Nigeria is the most corrupt country in the world. Ooh, it shock you. It is not only Nigeria. In this video, we are going to see top 10 countries with the highest numbers of internet scammers. Before we continue, if you are new to our channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell to receive more updates about Yahoo. Also like this video and share this video. Let's start. Romania After the fall of communism, Romania slumped into poverty and corruption. Over the years, Romania has built a reputation over internet scams and has been very successful at it. Scammers have been able to dupe innocent people through online dating, phishing, and also sale of non-existent products. Romanian internet scam artists use tried methods to con you. It's not always a list, but trust me, it always works. Philippines Besides the common romance scam popular in the Philippines, they have taken it a notch higher. One of the most used schemes is called the familiar face, where somebody approaches you and claims that he knows you and that you're a familiar face and in process decides to show you around the town where later you get robbed. Horse trading is also another way they rob you. You negotiate a price with a driver and during the ride, they change shifts where the entrance comes in and takes the price 10 times higher than the original. South Africa A report by UJ Center for Cybersecurity has revealed that during the course of 2015, South Africans were the most affected by bank-related fraud. This includes phishing, visiting spoof banking websites, or receiving false message notifications of bank withdrawals or deposits, although most of these cases were reported in Guantan province. Venezuela. Since Venezuela's economy plunged into recession, there has been massive cases of scamming, ranging from online dating to fake government bonds. In 2016 alone, consumer prices rose 800% and the economy contracted 18.6%. This resulted in massive unemployment and also local stores were left with empty shelves. These factors and more led to massive scamming schemes in Venezuela. Indonesia. Indonesian scammers are tech savvy where they are able to con people without their knowledge. Fraud cases have increased since the year 2000. Bank customers have been victimized by syndicates who use data capturing devices illegally installed in bank machines. Pakistan Military scams have been so common in Pakistan that many crime fighting organizations are now sending an alert. They are not easy to detect, and scammers use high ranking officials to pose as military members on dating sites and social networks and engage in relationships whose only goal is to scam you out of your hard earned money. They also install viruses on your computer, stealing all your sensitive information and blackmailing you to send money to them. Adding to the fact that Pakistan has the world's most corrupt police force, this crime seems to go unchecked forever. Brazil Brazil is a known hub for scammers. Pickpocketing was evident in 2016 Olympics, which painted a bad picture to the country. There are also cases of kidnappings that happened around the foreign exchange banks. But when it comes to internet scams, Brazilians always pose as beautiful ladies on dating sites and social networks to get into a relationship and scam you out of your hard earned money. China Believe it or not, the Chinese are good at scamming people. They have incorporated their vast knowledge in technology in scamming unsuspecting masses. The known I am your husband's mistress is another scam they use. By sending you an email with this heading, the kiosk wife will then open the text. Unknown to her, there's a Trojan horse virus embedded. As soon as she opens it, the virus gets to work in her system and steal all her sensitive data and withdraw all the money in your bank account and even blackmail you with certain pictures you might have saved on your system. India. It has become a known saying that it is virtually impossible to visit India and fail to encounter at least one scam or somebody trying to scam you. Importing duty-free gemstones is one of the known methods they use to scam people in India. The scam involves a random email on your social media where you are convinced to buy some worthless gemstones and import them under the duty-free allowance. Import them to your local country under a duty-free allowance and you are asked to transfer the money before they are shipped. As soon as they get your money, they block you on social media. Nigeria. The popular email scam originated in Nigeria, the home of Yahoo Yahoo Boys. I believe everybody has seen this somewhere, whether on email or Facebook messages, where they probably tell you an elaborate fake story about large amounts in the central bank or somewhere 
or some large amount of inheritance that is difficult for them to access because of their government restrictions or taxes in their country. And in the process, they ask you for your bank details so they can transfer the money to you and so get access to all your banking details where they hack into your account and make away with all your funds. These and many more scams are popular in Nigeria. Yes, so yes, so and with that, we'll come to the end of the video. And if you're new to the channel, click that red subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you'll be notified anytime I upload a video. And if you're already part of the family, go ahead and smash that like button. I will do it. That being said, I'll see you in the next video.